Did you know that Gabby Thomas, the Harvard graduate with a master's in public health, just made Olympic history? At the Paris 2024 Olympics, she clinched gold in the 200-meter sprint and did so against some of the toughest competitors in the world, including Jamaica's Sharika Jackson. This incredible achievement has left everyone in awe. How did Gabby manage to balance her intense training with volunteering at a healthcare clinic and still come out on top? Gabby Thomas's journey to the Olympics is nothing short of inspiring. Born in Atlanta, she moved to the Boston area when she was just 10 years old. This move came when her mother, Jennifer Randall, an education professor, took a job at the University of Massachusetts Amherst. Growing up in such an academically enriched environment undoubtedly influenced Gabby's future pursuits, both on and off the track. From an early age, Gabby excelled academically. She attended Harvard, where she graduated with a degree in neurobiology and global health. Imagine balancing the rigorous demands of an Ivy League education with the intense training required of a top-tier athlete. Gabby did just that showcasing her incredible dedication and time management skills. After Harvard, she didn't stop. She went on to earn a master's degree in public health from the University of Texas. Her focus wasn't just on her studies, but also on understanding and addressing racial health disparities, particularly sleep epidemiology. Gabby's interest in track began early, significantly influenced by her mother's admiration for Allison Felix, the most decorated female U.S. track athlete of all time. It wasn't long before Gabby started to idolize Felix, too, setting her sights on the track. Her mother's encouragement played a huge role, never forcing her into the sport, but always supporting her passion. This nurturing environment allowed Gabby to fall in love with running, appreciating it for both its beauty and the pure goal setting involved. During her high school years at Williston Northampton School, Gabby's talent truly began to shine. She set multiple records in the 100 meter, 200 meter, 4x100 meter relay, triple jump, and long jump. These records still stand today, a testament to her exceptional abilities. Her high school teachers and coaches remember her as not only a standout athlete, but also a dedicated student. Gabby's commitment to both her academic and athletic pursuits was evident early on, setting the stage for her future successes. Gabby Thomas's breakthrough came in 2021, and it was nothing short of spectacular. She burst onto the scene at the U.S. Olympic trials, clocking the fastest 200-meter time since the legendary Florence Griffith Joyner set the world record in 1988. This wasn't just a personal best for Gabby, it was a statement to the world. Suddenly, everyone was talking about this Harvard graduate who was not just fast, but blazing fast. Later that year, the Tokyo Olympics marked another milestone in Gabby's career. Despite the challenges posed by COVID-19 restrictions, which included daily testing and strict isolation rules, Gabby's spirit remained unbroken. She thrived in an environment that many found stifling. Winning a bronze medal in the 200-meter event was a dream come true for her. For many athletes, the pandemic made the Tokyo Games a stressful and even negative experience. But Gabby managed to find joy and fulfillment. She was thrilled just to be there, competing on the world stage, and her excitement was palpable. Following her success in Tokyo, Gabby significantly transitioned to professional training. She moved to Austin, Texas to train full-time, which was a major step in her athletic career. This move was about more than just improving her speed. It was about dedicating herself entirely to her sport. Training in Austin allowed her to focus on honing her skills and preparing for future competitions without the distractions of schoolwork. She managed to balance her demanding athletic schedule with her academic pursuits, a testament to her incredible work ethic and time management skills. While training intensively, she also found time to volunteer at a healthcare clinic, managing a hypertension program. This balance between her academic interests and her athletic career has been a crucial part of her success. It's clear that for Gabby, having a well-rounded life helps her perform better on the track. She often talks about how her volunteer work provides a release from the stress and pressures of training, making her a better athlete. 
Preparing for the Paris 2024 Olympics, Gabby Thomas has been focused on fine-tuning every aspect of her performance, from diet training and even mental well-being. Her intense training regimen is a testament to her dedication. Gabby has been doing reps that mimic the three rounds she'll need to run in Paris, starting on August 4th through the women's 200-meter final on August 6th. This method helps her body adapt to the grueling schedule of the Olympics. Additionally, she's made significant adjustments to her diet, cutting back on indulgences like pizza to ensure she's in peak physical condition. She spends around 7 to 10 hours a week at a healthcare clinic in Austin, where she directs the hypertension program. This isn't just a side hobby for Gabby, it's a crucial part of her life that keeps her grounded and mentally balanced. She often mentions how this work provides a much needed release from the pressures of track and field. The clinic work offers her a different kind of challenge and satisfaction, which she believes positively impacts her performance on the track. Mental and physical preparedness go hand in hand for Gabby. Managing stress is a big part of her preparation. By volunteering, she finds a way to alleviate the stress and pressures that come with being an elite athlete. It's a give and take situation for her. When she's at the clinic, she can momentarily set aside the rigors of training and focus on helping others. This mental break is refreshing and keeps her motivated. On the flip side, being on the track makes her appreciate her time at the clinic even more. Building confidence has also been crucial for Gabby. Her success in the US trials and world championships has given her a tremendous boost, winning the 200 meters in Eugene with the two fastest times of the year was a significant milestone. It allowed her to take a deep breath and feel a sense of accomplishment, knowing she had already proven herself among the best. These achievements have fortified her confidence, making her even more determined to aim for gold in Paris. Gabby Thomas's performance at the Paris Olympics was nothing short of historic. As she lined up for the 200-meter final, the anticipation was palpable. The competition was fierce, with top contenders like Jamaica's Sharika Jackson and American teammates Mackenzie Long and Brittany Brown. Sharika Jackson, in particular, was a formidable opponent, having clocked the second-fastest time ever in the 200 meters just behind the legendary Flojo. Despite the tough competition, Gabby was confident and focused. When the starting gun fired, Gabby exploded off the blocks with incredible speed and determination. She ran a near-perfect race, maintaining her form and speed throughout. Crossing the finish line, she not only won the gold medal, but did so in a time that made history. Her victory was unprecedented, marking her as one of the greatest sprinters of her generation. The stadium erupted in cheers as Gabby celebrated her historic achievement. The impact of Gabby's victory extended far beyond the track. Media coverage was extensive, with her face and story featured prominently in sports news around the world. Toyota ads depicting her triumphant journey to the gold medal had already created widespread anticipation, and her win only amplified the excitement. Gabby reflected on her journey with immense pride, acknowledging the hard work, dedication, and balance that got her to this moment. She expressed gratitude for the support she received and emphasized how much this victory meant to her. Beyond the track, Gabby's commitment to public health advocacy continued to shine. Her role at the Volunteer Healthcare Clinic, where she manages the hypertension program, remained a significant part of her life. She believes this work has not only benefited her community, but also her running, providing a mental break and a sense of fulfillment. Looking ahead, Gabby has aspirations to run a nonprofit health organization. She wants to make a tangible difference in communities, much like she does now, but on a larger scale. Gabby is also a vocal advocate for her sport. She didn't shy away from criticizing the Wanda Diamond League's decision to shift US media rights to Flow Sports, a more expensive streaming service. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.